Hello, just bring you back. I'm playing with uh, paint for the bandit. Uh, finally, got some paint for it. Um, ended up at my local paint suppliers, which are about a mile away. Um, I ordered paint for this about. Ooh, it was actually the day before the lockdown started, so it's a couple of months ago. And unfortunately, the company that took me order have obviously closed down. For now so anyway I've just managed today to go and get the paint and it's a three stage candy paint I'll show you right I'm just uh, basing up a, a test panel so we've got three stages we've got a silver base well it's not actually silver there are some colors in it we've got the red 22u candy Academy maroon which is a candy um, top coat and then you've got a normal clear coat um, this touch up pen I got for it or touch up paint I got ages ago is supposed to be supposed to be all in one but this comes out far too orange so I'm guessing this should be a silver base coat or they've just it's, it's this is only one part I think this is the middle part uh, the paint I've ordered, aerosol, which hasn't turned up yet, is also, it's like a one colour and a top coat. So I'm thinking, when that finally turns up, I'll have a spare colour and a spare lacquer. Um, if I need to, I'll get more of the silver base. But yeah, the silver base is... don't know if you can pick that up on the camera. It's actually got some red in it, so it's all all very clever. Anyway, I've put the silver base on this test piece. Um, I'm just drying it. Then I'm going to put the red on, and then I'll put the lacquer on. You're supposed to leave it 24 hours between each part. So when I actually get to doing it on the bike, I'll be doing it in stages. Just this piece I want to really get sorted out. Uh, some of it's just wear and tear and some of it's where I've actually rubbed through it. Um, the tank and the side panels I'll probably get done at the paint shop properly eventually when I decide to do them. But yeah there's a, there's a big, you probably can't hear me with this wind going on. This bit here Yeah, it's 45 mile an hour winds today. Um, yeah, that bit on the side panel. Let's turn you around. Oh, it's the uh, the intermediate, the maroony candy red bit, and you can you can't see because the flash is on on my camera, so it looks all different. Anyway, in real life. That looks exactly the same colour as the bike. Yeah, you can see you can see the silver base through the red pearl of the candy. So we'll let that dry. Oh, it's such a shame. If I could turn off the flashlight on this camera on my phone, anyway, we'll take it outside. You'll see it in the daylight. You know, yeah, it's looking promising. Much, much better colour match. I've turned off the flash, so still under artificial LED light. But yes, so far so good. I think this is going to be a good match. So I'll, I'll dry that, get some lacquer on it, and then we'll try it against the bike outside. All right, that's dried, uh, looking good. Let's go and uh, test it against the bike. It's just a, just a bit of scrap, I didn't even sand it down properly, I just gave it a quick once over with a thousand grit. So let's go try that. So it's a pain in the ass having to keep turning the radio on and off and on and off every time I film. I don't know if it matters, I know they do this um, copyright thing, but my 
channel's not monetized, so does it matter anyway? Because I'd like to leave the radio on. Right, stop blowing a gale. But that looks spot on to me. Or near as it's ever gonna be on a 20 year old um, paint job. Yeah, I'm putting it up against worn bits, but that looks near as damn it to me. That's good. Obviously, it's a hell of a lot shinier because I just put a ton of lacquer on it. But probably doesn't show on camera very well, but yeah, that's bang on. That's that's as near. I think more maybe slightly more base coat slightly less red but yeah happy days right i'm going to leave it at that so i don't uh, overdo it and mess things up yeah we've got 40 45 mile an hour winds for today and tomorrow so i'm going to leave it and then what we are, it's Friday today, Saturday, so probably Sunday I'll get the uh, get it all masked up and prepared and put the silver base coat on and then next day the red, next day the lacquer, however it goes, in between work, I'm, I'm on call so work sort of whenever they phone but yeah I'm really pleased with that, I've been waiting two months for paint and finally uh, a mile away from me it was available and had two phone calls yesterday uh, to no avail and then today I spoke to the right person and he literally said I can do it in five minutes I paid over the phone and I went down there and he said come to the side door and it will be on the table for you and I went round there it was sat on the table he was inside thank you very much so brilliant that was Humberside Paints so it was a bit confusing yesterday because they were really busy and the guy who answered the phone, I guess he was just there to answer the phone and being a three stage paint, it was a bit a bit confusing for the poor lad. But anyway, we're sorted, so I'm well pleased with that. The colour match, really for a 21 year old vehicle that's been uh, UV bleached and all sorts of things, uh, and then fresh colour match from the colour code, not from a panel on the bike, that's brilliant, I'm, I can, blend that no problem so I'm going to do the frame stuff I will probably use those three components to retouch in all my little stone chips I did with the previous touching stick which didn't quite match so I'll do them and the actual tank and the side panels the side panel needs filling and properly respraying it so it's going to be really hard to blend that in so I'm right, blending in a little one inch frame tube on one side but the side panel and the tank the tank's got dents in it so at some point I will take both of them down to my mate Mark at Colorite and have him spray them professionally I'll do the obviously I'll do the front mud guard as well because it's all part of it I could leave it as it is because it's an old worn out 21 year old bandit and if I can just get that frame where it's worn through just touched in myself I'll be happy and then in months to come probably probably next winter uh, I'll get him to do the dents and the side panel right that's enough I've been springy peace and love and I'll catch up next time when I'm actually doing the side of the bike yes I could do it in the garage hmm you know what, I'll probably end up putting it in the garage and doing it in the garage tomorrow, Saturday, with the wind blowing outside and the door shut. But I don't really want to film a nice new painted garage with all its lovely stuff in it with overspray. But then again, it's a garage. Oh dear, I think I've just talked myself into starting it tomorrow. Okay, peace and love. I'll see you next time. I've been Springy. Thank you.